everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, we took out the entirety of Dual Square, which is not a square, by the way. And in this part, we are going to do some stuff in Pyrite Town that actually have to do with the story. First of all, we're going to go into this house with the Pokeball shape. Er, I'm not really sure about what that is supposed to be. It looks like a Pokeball, but it also looks like a G. Whatever. Let's just go inside the door. Talk to this guy. Okay, thanks, bye. Now, let's talk to this kid. Subtle! Yeah, we're just gonna press that. And then leave immediately. Get out of my way. So yeah, that was Silva. And I don't know if it's just me, or if it's, like, a common thing, but I have always, always thought that Silva looks like a little kid. Like, seriously. I, I don't know what it is, but that's just what I always thought. Anyways, we're gonna go across the bridge over here to the Coliseum. Um, have I healed? Because I should probably do that. Eh, I should probably do that. Sorry! I forgot to heal off screen after the last episode. Good job, me. I so smart. Anyways, now we want to talk to this guy right here. Oh, snap. He might know things? What? So yeah, we're gonna go talk to him now. Because... We can. I seriously cannot get enough of this music. I don't know why. It's just freaking amazing. That bass line. Ah, I love it. Hi there. Hi there. No, I want to know if you are a weird Pokemon. Seriously? They give you a furret? That that is just saddening. I I feel so sorry for you. Like seriously. Well that was rude. As soon as I say fur, it sucks. Jeez. Why would you use confusion on a psychic type? That's just foolish. Uh, let's bite the Ralts, because that's a good idea. I really hope that doesn't show up in the recording, but not that it really matters, because I drew attention to it anyway, so, yeah. Anyways, goodbye, Ralts. And hello, C Dot. <laughs> I've always thought C Dot looked kind of weird.
apparently, according to Jordan, uh, the top of C dots everything, um, like the top of the acorn part, apparently looks like it's made of steel or some kind of metal. I don't know, but I completely disagree with this. But okay, thank God that didn't kill it. Um, now we just have to hope it doesn't use Shadow Rush and kill itself. No, not a Super Potion. There we go. didn't say anything so as not to jinx it, but I guess just thinking it did. Well, that's unfortunate for the matchup. Aw, that helping hand boost went to waste. Poor matchup. What the hell was that voice I was doing? Uh, I don't even know. Anyways, reflect. Because I can. Wow, wow. Uno. Dos. Tres. It is over! If you know what TV show I was just referencing, then you are awesome. Odds are that you probably won't, unless you do. Oh, hello, building. Hello, Afro. Oh yeah, there's a guy under it. A lovely peachy keen way. Okay then. You always feel like dancing. Oh, and by the way, nobody ever would have guessed that the guy wearing purple with the really creepy red eyes and the silver hair was a villain. No, nobody ever would have guessed that. And then he dances down the stairs. Okay, no, he doesn't go down the stairs. I thought he did, but I guess I was incorrect. Anyway, yeah, let's go to the Coliseum. Cutscene. And then he dies. Oh no, the little kid came! Oh no! Hello. You... Speak to me, you fool! So yeah, we have to go find the gear. Um, trust me when I say it is not in Pyrite Town. I know that there are several gears that you can just find lying around. It's not one of them. Like, um, I'm gonna look for one here. Yeah, there's one. It's a gear. It's not the gear. But it is a gear. Anyways, what we want to do is leave 
and go over here to the useless construction lot. Hello, useless construction lot. Hello, gear. And then we leave immediately. That took, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. That plus the 5 seconds we spent there before add up to a total of 15 seconds we have to spend in the construction lot for the entire game. So yeah, we go back to the place with the gears and the stuff, and there's a happy face on the ground. That's what it looks like, at least, to me. It's upside down, but... Whatever. Hello, Duking. What the hell are you doing here? Hello. Yes, I somehow fit a giant gear into my jacket, I suppose. You totally can't see it. Oh, 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh yeah! And then the giant rusty windmill starts blowing again. Er, not blowing. Just something! I don't even know. What? No! No! Yes, I will be doing that every time. Fine. I'll go beat people up and steal their money and their... Well, not their Pokemon. They, they don't have any Shadow Pokemon. Anyways, we're gonna go over here into the Coliseum and then we're gonna... Something. Um, I think I'm gonna save the Coliseum for the next episode, guys. So, I hope you all enjoyed this part. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we are going to take the Pyrite Coliseum Challenge. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Later.